Good afternoon, welcome to Run Light Gaming. Uh, so we're going to be continuing on again from the last save point that we did on XCOM, so if you haven't watched that, I would definitely check it out. Uh, and pretty much where we left off is we were planning on trying to assault the alien base here. I don't think there's anything big that we're waiting on, so that's probably going to be the next place we're just going to go ahead and go to. Because uh, otherwise we have like the interceptor, the power generator, workshop, so nothing too major. Uh, so let's go ahead and head over there. And we'll go ahead and assault. Oh wait, we actually saw the UFO crash site. So we're going to do the UFO crash site, just so we don't run out of time and then it causes us problems, so... Alright, assault, 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 yep. And my one support. Do we have a better gun for him yet? No. Yep, yeah, so that looks pretty good. We may need to find him, like, a better gun to play with. I don't really use him so much for, you know, his actual ability to attack, but... Alright, so Operation Fading Heat, which is a UFO crash site. And let's go. And it was if you watched the last video. Which means we could probably expect quite a bit of You know, quite a bit of aliens on this one. Alright, so we're gonna move him up forward. Since he has the most movement. Okay, so we're going to move everyone into a line here. Because pretty much we shouldn't spawn anything here. As long as we don't spawn anything, we don't have any actual problems this round. Alright, so we're going to move all the way up here. And this one we'll have to be a little more cautious with, because we don't want to spawn a bunch of stuff and then not be able to shoot at it. Alright, and we're going to put this one against the log here. still using a scatter laser. We're going to need to switch that out as well. Alright, so we made it up to the front there. We don't actually have anything to fight, so we're still good for now. here initially. I'll move there. Uh, we'll bring our 
third one here. And lastly, we're going to move him right behind these two. And then we'll end our turn. Apparently he came into view and just ran away. Alright, so we're just going to see if we can tap him once. The other one's a melee person, so if he does come running upon us, we should be able to smash him pretty good. Lastly, we'll move the light plasma up. So this team's a little bit weaker than the other one. Because they're running the plasma, well, the support as well as the, uh, the scatter cannon. So if that guy comes running through and just so happens to get within the group, they should start firing at him because usually if you're within four squares of them, they should base pop a shot at you. But just in case, I'm going to overwatch everyone that I can. So we did miss. Alright, so that one did 9 damage. Alright. So, we're going to go and run again the first one. Better try to take that one out. Alright, so I guess an important thing here might be to see if we can. Yeah, because we can run and gun him. It's probably why it's better to keep your team together. I want to see if I can split and just take out more stuff at once. Yeah, just make sure we try to kill him. Which means he's going to run towards that guy there. And is now dead. All 
Alright, so I'm not going to quite make it with him. I'm not going to bother to use his running gun because he wouldn't be able to get a good shot anyway. But if for some reason those two try to come up behind, I'm going to have him shoot out one of them, ideally. Next one to run a gun will be this one. And again, I'm going to try to focus on the back one just so I can make sure to take him out. Which, that'll kill him. Then lastly, we're going to take him out of firing range of these two. Which is basically going to force them to move. Because if they move, then they should get pretty much destroyed. And that should kill them. I guess the best thing would be right. Yeah, so it looks like they just overwatched, which didn't really help them much. Hope I don't spot anything up here. And then we're gonna use him to go ahead and just run a gun, the last one. Pretty much, she just climbed up on the top part of the roof of the ship, and then we're gonna blast him. And these three, for now, we're just gonna have them walk down. Because part of it will be trying to get the rest of the team to catch up. And we'll go ahead and end there. Oh. They tried to sneak up behind us. in the back as well. Yep, he's gone. Well, this is pretty productive. Alright, so again, Assault specialty is to annihilate things. However, I am not doing so well as far as running guns because I'm pretty much out.
I think what we're gonna do is move him. Oh, that's really not good. How did I not see them a little bit ago? Oh, that's kind of a problem. That might mean rookie dies. Alright, so there was something down there. Alright, so there's one of those. He's not going to hurt as bad. One of those, he's going to hurt a little bit. These things will annihilate one of my people if they actually hit him. So, if I don't want something to die, I pretty much have to target those. Pretty much at this point, we're just trying to bail him out. Because unfortunately, that's not going to do what I need it to. So we're going to move him here. Oh, that's not good either. Alright, so he can't actually target the, the crystallite things. That's another one. If he got close, he's just going to kill something. So... As I don't want to do it, I think I'm going to have to let him actually pretty much die. Because unfortunately he can't run a gun, so he can't get over here to kill one of them, and the, so the other one probably can't either. So that's going to kill this one. This one here. Uh, so we'll probably want to double tap this because we want to make sure at least one of those hit. I think the first one did not hit. Second one killed him. Yeah. So this is gonna be a bad round for rookie. I have a good feeling the rookie is probably dead. Oh. I'm used to those things just hitting you and just completely taking you down. So... I guess with better armor, they're not so bad off. Alright, so blast him. Oh, I guess we could try to capture one. Since he's pretty much right there. Oh, I guess for some reason I can't actually capture these. Oh well. Well, he could branch off for the one. It's not a big deal. Another day, another successful 
Alright, so that actually went a little bit better than I expected. As I said, I used to recall the cephalid things. If they got close to you, they hit you like a Mack truck. And usually, you just collapse after that. And they turn you into a zombie, and then the whole nine yards. But apparently they don't hit quite as hard as I expected, but they still hit for five to seven or eight damage, which is still a little bit painful. So like that particular soldier should come back a little bit injured. Yeah, so he's wounded for three days, which really isn't a big deal. And then we'll do lightning reflexes. Alright, from here, I'll probably give it about three days before we do that, just so we can get our soldier back. I guess there's always that. So pretty much if we want to do another workshop, we're going to have to wait for this workshop to be finished. This will give us the rest of our satellites we need. Uh, power containment, we'll go ahead and put that on. And then, basically at this point, what we're going to do is get ready for the assault. Alright, so who is our rookie? So our rookie is this guy here. We're basically going to give him an actual decent shotgun, because we want to make sure that he actually kills stuff. I think more scopes would be useful too, just to increase the odds of shots. Because I really don't use grenades much. So let's go to engineering. Yeah, and from the looks of it, we actually have more scopes, but this one thing that uh, Enemy Within actually has better going for it than enemy unknown. It's like you can actually get rid of all the gear on all your other um, people on there, which then allows you to re-equip it somewhere else. And then we'll prepare for assault. We're at least going to put it on our new guy. I'm trying to sure out of everyone here, he probably has the worst. Uh, support, we mostly use them for strictly support type stuff, so we're not going to worry about him as much. Alright, so let's roll. And this is a pretty big mission for the game itself. We're pretty much dropping into the base that they've created on the planet itself. And we're trying to find out pretty much what they're doing there, really.
so there's a little bit this way, but I think for the most part we're going to have to head to the top left. Alright, and next one, because basically what we're trying to do is set up for when we finally do move against a bunch of people, we can usually run on them pretty quickly. Uh, this is our support, he moves a little bit quicker, mostly because they have the upgrade of like three extra squares, which mostly just helps him kind of get to where he needs to be, which is usually either healing someone Sometimes I use them for the arc thrower, which actually I forgot that we do not actually have a the alien holding uh, spot right now. Mostly due to the fact that we got rid of it so we can put it down a workshop. And let's see, we'll just double move this one up here. And we'll go ahead and enter turn. Alright, so pretty much, yeah, we're basically just going to run in there and shoot them all up. Alright, so first one, go. Hundred percent, eighty-one percent, seventy-three. So double tap this one. Next one. This is our support, so he doesn't actually have to get into melee range with him. Though this probably will not kill him. But that's another reason I run Assault, more so is they do so much more damage. Unfortunately, it is questionable as to whether or not I get within range to actually shoot this last one. With like a decent percentage. Alright, so we have a 50 50 shot. But we do it twice, so. Do, do. Alright, so we're gonna go running up against this door with everybody else. I think for this team, we're probably going to want to send at least one or two this way, just because we don't have the range. This is why eventually I'm going to train someone else into the team, but for like just grinding through the levels and stuff. The kind of setup I have right now is usually pretty good. I'm probably going to want a third over there. Because a lot of times these come in groups of three, so... Alright, so we're going to move him all the way up. Yeah, 
I mean, worst case scenario, if you really wanted to be kind of a little bit janky with the idea, uh, you can pretty much just, you know, burst in, shoot everything, and then the next turn just, uh, basically the next two turns, you just sit back and wait for your running gun to come back. Alright, so... Alright, so we do actually have someone there. They just haven't seen us yet. How do you miss from that distance? You're the worst shotgun person ever. Alright, so we're gonna use this one to actually run a gun that back one. Because this one will be able to get a little bit closer than the other two. Just make sure we actually kill it. And blast away! And blast. Because basically, whenever you shoot him, he'll actually come running towards your unit. But with the special ability of my assault, if they get within the four squares, they just get shot. So. And this is where this team comes in. Actually, we'll probably do a regular move first. Alright, so we're going to take out the shooters first, because the shooters are a problem. Alright, so that one's dead. Because the shooters, I know, are going guar to be guaranteed to actually... He's running a plasma, so... Alright, so I guess we're just gonna move this one up. And I guess what we're going on here is the idea that the melee guy over there is gonna actually try to run in on this group here, and in doing so, get blasted. And... Ah, he failed me. Because this will not actually kill him. And... Reaction shot. If you get killed, you deserve it. Just saying. That's what happens when you're worthless at shooting. You deserve to get beat real bad. Uh, so... This guy is going to want to finish off the top one. Just in case I'm going to hold those two off. Just in case for some reason they botch this one further. Alright, 
So we're going to move this one up, turn around, and shoot that one. I don't know how you guys fail so hard. So we're just going to move him up. We're not going to actually run a gun him. Because hopefully one of those two should be able to finish him off. I should almost just let that soldier die because he's so terrible at this. So we're just going to gather everybody back up. Uh, they both failed me quite a bit, so... heal this one this round. So basically we're just stacking up everybody in the wall and pretty much preparing for the next round. So lastly, we're going to move this one up behind. And we're going to heal this one up a little bit as well. For now, what we're going to do is just end our turn. I guess I should have probably reloaded. Do, do, do. Where are you, support? Because you can move a little bit further. So, they don't really have a lot of range on me either, so... At the very least, they're gonna hopefully just be popping shots back. Let's take this wall. So 
basically the only person that should probably get shot will be my support person, which should be fine. I'm sure you could take at least a single bullet without too much difficulty. No one actually shot at him. Yeah, that hurt a little bit. The second one missed, so that's a little better. Do do. So I guess the question is, is how far I can get. I can see this being a bit of an issue though. Again, slight downside of not having a lot of range. So you do t need to get kind of close in there if you want to actually kill stuff. But maybe it might. Yeah, there we go. Took out one of them. So basically, we use one of these back eyes to take. Alright, so we're gonna run up behind this one. Hey, wait your turn. About one in three chance. Nope. Alright, so for this one, we're just gonna run up next to him. I guess unless this is a rookie, because that could be true. Because he doesn't have double tap for some reason. So apparently he can't get a shot from there, so... Alright, so this one does have double tap. I'm just gonna move right next to him. Blast the hell out of him. So 30% chance of doing double damage. Next, we're going to move him up. Well, dang. It's not a very good position to go to because of the fact that they could spawn something down here. If they spawn something down here, then I have a little bit more problems. Which did, looks like I did not. But if he tries to move his person down towards the two that are close to him, he's gonna get smashed. There we go. Alright, so pretty much at this point what we're going to do is set up and reload. But we don't want to run too much further past, because if we do it's probably going to spawn something else that we're going to have to fight. We 
reload with this one. And then reload with that one. So we're gonna move this one up to there. I don't actually see where the cyber disc is, and I'm, there's usually a cyber disc with those. Since I'm probably not going to kill either of those, I'm just going to use this to take out one of the small guys. It's one less thing for my shotgun people to shoot at. Yeah, I don't know if... I said usually there's a cyber disc with those, but I don't actually see one. And hopefully one of these will actually hit. Alright, so this one does have a running gun. So, probably want to stay a little bit further away if able, so we'll try to move here. I'm okay with the little guy shooting at me, but... 64, 72, 40. Alright, so we'll see if we can take out him. If one of those connected, it should kill him. Really? Why are they such bad shots this round? I guess that happens. Alright, so we're gonna run again this one to here. I guess the big question though is whether or not I have another run and gun. I do. Ninety-four percent. Yeah, so I'll just guarantee we kill him. And then lastly, run a gun. Double tap this one. Yeah, so I said a little guy doesn't do much damage, so. is move him forward. If there's a cyber disc up here, hopefully that'll spawn it, which it does not. We're going to move this one to the side. Since he does not have a double tap, I mean, since he doesn't have a a running gun. 
It may rapid fire just to be on the safe side. Yep, luckily we did. Rather than playing the idea that it may not crit, because if it didn't crit, it wouldn't kill him, so. Alright, so basically as long as we stay within the area that we've looked at so far, we should be fine. And we'll just double run this one to right there. Then we'll end our turn. Instead of being on the safe side, we're just doing a single move. That way, if we spawn anything, we can hopefully run a gun some of the people and try to take them out. Then at this point we will go ahead and just reload everybody. Even though I don't think most people really need ammunition right now, because there are at least half ammunition left, I figured this would be the last reload we need for everybody. Alright, so at this point, let's go ahead and run up. Run up here. So we're just going to sprint. I don't think we're actually spawning anything so far. And since there's nothing close by on this side, I don't think we're going to do it sprinting. So basically we're just going to take on this wall here and prepare for the next big move. Where's my plasma? Alright, plasma you're going to take center. Because basically going to use my plasma person as bait.
So at this point, we're going to run in. Alright, didn't spawn anything again, so against the next wall. And then against this wall. Alright, so again, we are prepared to run into the next door. Expected to find a bunch of stuff. So we're gonna run him in center. Then run him in as far as I can. It's kind of a big room, as you can see. So there's probably going to be a room up here, it looks like. That's the end of this, so there's another big room there. And a room down there. So basically it's very likely that there's going to be something on both sides of us, and then something in the front. do is prepare my support for this side. And we'll end our turn. Do, do, do. Alright, so it looks like this turn we're not going to be messed with, but there's definitely something in here. So for this group, we're going to move this one forward, this one forward, this one right next to those two. Enter turn. So hopefully they fly down. All right. So there's a cyber disc on this side. Maybe if it spawns. Actually, I can run again just to make sure that we can see what's all up here. Alright, 
So we're going to run again this one. And 100%. So that should kill him. I don't really see anything else up here, so we'll double move him, but he won't actually shoot anything. We'll just keep his running gun active just in case we need that. Alright, so pretty much with this one, we're going to do about the same. Basically, run all the way over to the stairwell. Really? You can't shoot anything? Alright, so I'm going to see if I can double tap this one. I think if one of those connected should there we go. And I guess we're gonna overwatch with him as well. Because apparently this guy that's pretty much right next to him, he can't see. How did you miss? Oh, I hate my guys with shotguns. Apparently they're terrible. As bad of a shot as you both are, he kind of deserved that. Alright, so he's just going to come up behind, take out this guy. Just to be on the safe side, I will double tap. Because ideally you should be able to kill him with that, but there's a chance that one down, you know, one time that you shoot, they're left with, ten, you know, two extra life and then turn back and hit you again. Do, do, do. In this case, he's at four health, so it's not a big deal. I'll just do it. Single shot, and that will kill him. However, we do have a three turn clock now because if we don't actually win this map by then, we do lose our support guy. So, though we have plenty of support left, so even if we do lose them, then we'll pick a new one. As terrible as that may sound. See if we spawn anything here. Alright, I guess we're just gonna run in as far as we can. It almost looks like a larger version of the sectoid, but something is different. What is that energy? Alright, so thus far I don't see any other people up there, or any other aliens, so we're just going to take a shot here and probably get hit a for a little bit of damage, but I don't think the sectoid things have that much damage that they can do. I know those are like the special ones that can actually do like mind attacks, which I believe they can like dominate things and other random abilities like that. I think at that distance he's probably just going to shoot at someone. 
Yeah, so he did six points of damage. That's not a big, big deal. However, we pretty much have to think kill him this round. So that's why I said we're kind of in a race here. See if we can. That alien is clearly different from the others. It's wielding a power unlike anything we've previously encountered. How can he? He can't shoot from there either. So we're going to try to stay a little bit back here. And basically as long as one of those connect... No, they didn't actually kill him though. Alright, so let's say... I don't know, about four squares away. We'll double tap from here. About the same chance. There we go. Hopefully that finishes it. Yep. Because otherwise, uh, the support guy that we had would have died, and then that would have hurt that a little bit more. So basically we took out their base, uh, their base is going to give you a lot more resources and stuff. is a bit premature at this juncture. We just neutralized their central command. We've got no other alerts on the entire system. And we took out their leader. In my book, that's a win, Doctor. This war isn't over yet. The existence of this artifact, which we believe to be a communication device of some kind, begs the question. If the sectoid commander was the alien leader, then who or what is it communicating with? I believe this is indeed the same creature we encountered when we made first contact with the aliens. As we have observed, it is somehow capable of using its mind as a weapon. If we were to study this specimen's brain tissue, perhaps we might be able to adapt this ability for our own purposes. Alright, so we pretty much cleared up all that. Okay, that's why you didn't have rapid fire, it's because it's a lieutenant ability. that. I'll promote this guy. He is now one of our new colonels. Then Killer Instinct. So even Gravely Wounded, it's only going to be seven days until he's back in action again. So pretty much set with that. Uh, otherwise, for now I'll go ahead and end this video because uh, I know it's went on quite a while. Uh, we did ma manage to take out the alien base and then pretty much got everything set up as far as that goes. So definitely watch the next video, uh, which we will continue on very soon. Uh, it'll probably come out next week, and then hopefully you enjoy that. So thank you for watching Rundle Gaming, and you have a good day.